What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, it's Keisha. I'm your host of today's video. Nice to meet you all. How is Friday treating you guys? Like, are you, are you having a good Friday? Is it a bad Friday for you guys? Let me know the vibe. Are we looking forward to the weekend? <laughs> for me personally, the morning has been a little bit all over the place, but thank God for the afternoon. Things can change up and switch up. <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about Doja Cat and Noah Schnapp. A lot has happened. I've seen a bunch of headlines, but I really want to dive into it and find out what really happened. We're also going to go ahead and take a look at what it is that Doja Cat had to say on TikTok live stream. TikTok? <laughs> TikTok live stream. <laughs> TikTok live stream. I will give you guys a major heads up. She was not pleased. Not one bit, okay? I think that it's good to not silence her and let's just actually hear what she has to say. And if you think something is wrong for her to have said then she's wrong you know but then again it's just our opinion so get involved down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for rocking with me i've been all over the place with my content recently i'm just currently going through like a creator's block and a writer's block that's why i haven't been able to release music just because i'm just in a funk it's a weird time right now but i promise you when the music does come out bitch we are all in for a ride and i can pinky promise you that right now get your pinky mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's a promise bitch also when it comes to content i'm just i'm pumping out content that i truly believe in but i'm also going to be experimenting with content like i'm a shady also i love commentary we're just trying to intensify that i'm just making it a bit more fun for me again so i am going to be pumping out content so make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled for that turn on the bell i'm talking too much in it all right let's just get started <laughs> Doja Cat has called out Noah Schnapp for publicly sharing their private message exchange on TikTok. It says Stranger Things star Schnapp. I hate how articles write things sometimes, but anyways. Stranger Things star Noah Schnapp, age 17, had posted a video revealing that Doja Cat sent him a message via Instagram, asking him to tell co-star Joseph Quinn to hit me up. But Doja Cat criticized Noah and said he was so unbelievably socially unaware for sharing the conversation. In an Instagram live stream, incorrect, it was actually TikTok, Doja Cat addressed the incident to her followers and she said, to be fair, first, let's be chill about it. She began by saying, like, Noah is a kid, I don't even know how old he is, but he's definitely, like, not over 21. Of course, because he's not. He's actually 17 years young. <laughs> to be fair, first, let's be, let's be, try to be chill about it. To be fair, this is, like, a, a kid. Like, Noah is, like, I don't know how old he is, but there, he's not even over, like, there's no way he's over, like, 21. And he might be. Like, I could be wrong. Um, Doja Cat continued by saying, but when you're that young, you make mistakes. You do dumb-ish. I'm trying to be super fair. You do dumb-ish. You say dumb-ish. You effing F things up, including relationships with people. You make mistakes. You, you make mistakes. Like, you're supposed to so that you know... You're supposed to do stuff like that so that you know not to do it in the future. Like, I, I did my share of fuck ups so that I don't fuck up again. Fair enough. She added, the fact that Noah did that, like when and posted a private conversation between me and him is so unbelievably socially unaware and whack. Unbelievably like socially unaware and whack. You know what I mean? Like that's like borderline snake shit. Like that's like, that's like weasel shit. I'm not saying that encapsulates his entire personality. Like, Noah is not, like, the definition. I, like, I, I wouldn't imagine he is. Maybe he is. Like, But I didn't see him that way. I made an assumption that he was going to be chill about it, and he went and shared information that I didn't feel comfortable with him sharing. In a screenshot of the text message between Noah and Doja, Roger Cat had written, Noah, can you tell Joseph to hit me up? Wait, no, does he have a girlfriend? He told her, slide into his DMs, but Doja Cat replied by saying, I don't know his Instagram or his Twitter. He doesn't have a DM to slide into. <laughs> This just feels, this feels weird that I know this information. It just feels like I'm not supposed to know this. Noah then sent her his Instagram profile and added right there, ma'am. <laughs> not the ma'am. I can't stand it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like Noah was being super duper cheeky with that. Or maybe he's just super duper respectful to his elders. <laughs> Noah, I don't know much about Noah. You guys have to tell me. Is Noah a nice person? What do you guys gauge from him and his presence? I don't know one thing about this guy apart from him being on Stranger Things and him being an annoying character, okay? But besides that, it just seems pretty chill. I haven't seen him in any headlines <laughs> at all. Um, it doesn't seem like a very cocky person. It just seems like a chilled person from what I see anyways. I could be wrong. Who knows? For him to say, right there, ma'am, I, I, I lost it. I lost it. Which way do I take this? Is he being respectful to his elders because I'm fairly older than him? Or is he being a, a flipping cheeky lad here? I'm just gonna say something right now. Okay. About the whole fucking, uh, the 
Noah Schnapp thing. To be fair, first let's be, let's be, and he might be, like I could be wrong. She sounds different, was it just um, me? Maybe it's the echo in the wall? But like, unbelievable. I'm so sorry to stop you there, Dodger I'm listening, I promise you I'm paying attention. But how can I pay attention when there's filters on you? Remove this cowboy hat, this mustache, I cannot take it seriously. <laughs> Is this what you guys be doing on TikTok? You just be playing with a bunch of different filters. What? What's this? Who is this? Who? Girl, let me get comfortable because I feel like I'm going to get a cramp any second. You know what I mean? Like, that's like borderline snake shit. Ooh, not the like, snake. Like she called Noah a sizzling snake. She didn't say sizzling. It's just me being extra. But um, yeah, so she's saying what Noah did was like borderline snake-ish. I can see why you feel that way. I, I can... I can I can see it from my point of view. That's one thing about me. I'm trying my best to see it from everyone's point of view. I feel like from Doja Kot's... Do, do, with Dodger Cat's perspective, she just sees it as like, I would have never expected this message to have been out there because it is not that deep. But also, you guys need to uh, know that I think it was prior to that exchange with Noah, she did tweet something about the guy. So, you know, there's that. Maybe he is. Like, maybe he is in a, like a whole snake, you know? Girl. I know someone's gonna be like, okay, but it isn't that deep, you know, the, the, the messages they exchange to each other. But maybe it's just like a, it's just like a boundary thing, you know, in a way. I can definitely see it from everyone's perspective. I feel like it is kind of weird to share that screenshot because what is it that what is it that Noah gets out of it? Do I think people should go and hit on him? Absolutely not. There's just something very weird. It's like a very degrading and and um, mm -hmm. like exploitative behavior. Mm -hmm. You see, in the beginning, I was agreeing with her. I was like, mm, mm, fair enough, fair point, fair point. I I totally get it. But now it's like, are we going off topic? Like now it's like, are we just introducing a new conversation here that is kind of unnecessary? And that's what happens with me sometimes. Sometimes I'm speaking on something, I'm so passionate about it. I'm sharing my thoughts and opinions, but then I go on a tangent and it's like, okay, everything you just said a minute ago does not matter anymore because now we're starting something new. It's like super embarrassing. But okay, but you, don't, you shouldn't have to be embarrassed about it though. And I'm so sorry that you feel that way, but you shouldn't have to be embarrassed by it. Do I think you could have Googled it and found out this guy's Instagram straight then and there? Absolutely. I feel like Google could have fixed this. Like Google could have saved this whole situation from happening. You could have easily just Googled the man's name and found out whether he had Instagram or not. And then to your surprise, you would figure out that he actually doesn't run his own Instagram account and he's quite a private person. I think that people think that this is the first time they had an interaction, her and Noah. No, because if you see the screenshot, you can tell they have previous, previously spoken. I didn't tell him not to post it because you don't expect people to do that. Of course. It's not yeah, Noah Schnapp. Oh Lord, not her confirming the name. It's the Schnapp for me. Yeah, I mean, she's got a point though. Like no one expects their message of someone to just be out there. Like I still don't understand what Noah gets out of it though. That's weird to me. I, I still don't get it. Why screenshot it and then post it? That's weird to me. And I feel like we should all admit it, it is weird. I get it, he's a kid and kids are gonna F up and do all sorts of things, but I can't see what Noah gets out of it. Because if it was the fact that, oh my God, Doja Cat slid into my DMs, like she's a big pop star, like I'm a huge fan, blah, blah, blah. That's different. But it seems like they already had conversations prior to that. If you look at the screenshot, what do you guys think about that? I was wrong of him because he should have asked for permission. But I also do believe that Doja Cat didn't necessarily have to go on a live stream to kind of air this out. She's entitled to feeling the way that she feels. That's absolutely fine. But go ahead and vent it out to him. Go and voice note him. Go and call him up and say, hey, Noah, this is how I feel about what it is that you did. Sometimes when you talk about certain situations on live streams and stuff, it kind of intensifies it because people then go to his page and then start projecting anger and hate and animosity when it's like we don't need any of that do you know what i mean why is my screen dirty <laughs> you better drink that water bitch i still don't understand what she's embarrassed about because a lot of people think that that guy's fine N not me included i'm not me included but i'm just saying that you know like there's nothing to be embarrassed about this we're acting like we're talking about some embarrassing ish you're talking about finding someone attractive okay join the rest of the 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 squad do you know what i mean join everyone else who finds the guy attractive it's not that deep do you find it embarrassing because you're a full-pledged pop star <laughs> with a verified tick let me know i don't get what's to be embarrassed about i think strangers make me really upset like people i don't know doing whack shit to me that makes me like almost more upset than somebody that i know you don't have to go and slide into noah's dms maybe you guys had previous conversations to the point where you guys felt comfortable enough to just like be or what's what i'm looking for goofy with each other and just like be funny with each other and not take things so seriously who knows i don't know what their previous encounters consisted of or whether there was even a previous encounter but, but judging by the screenshot it did seem like they had exchanged things before uh, or maybe they just like to chuffle stories. <laughs> you actually never know. Okay, but this eyeshadow though. It's just like... This look, this wig, I need that wig. You gonna send it to me, Doja, or not? 
be taking advantage of, couldn't even be like oh he's doing this for clout because he's so fucking famous of he's course. literally like on the most successful show right now mm -hmm. so it's not even clout it's like a weird like a uh, it feels like a weird like power play thing hmm? right not saying that he has more he definitely doesn't have more power than me and i don't have power over him and it's not like a power war but there's like a weird like egoy thing it's like an egoy thing i don't know if i get that impression it's just that he's like a not very the tiktok dumb huh? kid ah, did she just say he's a very dumb kid yeah okay it's just this is my take on it and sure. i don't want to talk about it again perfect let's just never talk about it again uh, do i think noah will reply i think if the hate gets a little too much i think if the fans start storming his page and i mean overall i do think they're both wrong when it comes to certain things it is quite disappointing to see this behavior and i know people are going to be like yes he's a kid but he isn't extremely extremely young he's just young period right i think that well i hope this was a big wake-up call for him you cannot go around just showcasing people's private messages though it wasn't explicit content or anything crazy it was something like you just don't screenshot messages and share it on your tiktok where you have millions and millions of followers again i don't really get what he gets out of it but again i do hope it was a huge wake-up call for him but also for doja cat too you never really know who's gonna you know air out your messages especially because you are a social media girl because doja cat is right like you know the way people are gonna eat up certain content and just twist it around so instead of you having to explain yourself maybe just prevent certain things from happening you know maybe just think before tweeting things as well so yeah but i also think with doja cat's tweet of her complimenting that man i keep forgetting his name i think that noah just kind of saw it as like humor and didn't take it too seriously but who really knows what do you guys think do you guys agree do you guys disagree with me let me know your thoughts and opinions pretty much it for today's video i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but i will be hosting some giveaways this summer on my instagram so definitely go and follow me over on there it's such a fun time i can promise you that um and yes exciting things to come this summer i'm also just trying to take health breaks for myself and my sanity and then just come back with just like litness nothing but litness i will catch you guys real soon for a brand new video whenever the hell that is bye